Okay, so this is another... I, it's a Another good, five short cradles. Another five short cradles. I probably could put that together. You're wearing an apron. Yeah. It's very pretty. I'm supposed to sign. Oh, that's right. Um, but we're not going to. Uh, so this is another five short grables. It's going to be hard to do this just seeing you like that. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. <laughs> keep going. Let, let, let's keep going. <laughs> oh! Cover your shame! I'm um, not ashamed. This is awesome. All right, cover my shame of looking at that. Um, all right, so another five short grables. Um... I uh, got, uh, Hemo Phillips again is back, uh, you, you just couldn't make it through the review wearing that, uh. no, no. Now I gotta look at your semi-exposed body. Uh, let me just, you know... Uh, oh! <laughs> <sighs> Anywho, um, what am I bitching about? Suburban nights have shown much more! <laughs> That's very, very true, go on. Uh, so Hemo Phillips is back as, do we ever get that guy's name? You know, he says it. I swear, but I honestly don't remember. I was gonna say, I almost, I'm almost wondering if that's like one of the glob or grob or something like that. Don't, um, you don't remember them? No, no, no. I remember them in the uh, with the Lincoln thing, but did they actually say all of them? I thought yeah. they were just like, oh, I thought it was only like one or two. That's okay. all four of them. Oh, okay. They actually said, oh, you're right, you're right. Okay. So, well, maybe there's a missing glob bob or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, but anywho, so it's an RFI short grables, but turns out we don't want to see that as. The episode dictated, we want to see him make a birdhouse, which, I love that joke. That's a great joke, because it's like, what, you don't want to see that? You instead want to see me make a birdhouse? And if he just kept going with, well, all right, you know, that'd be funny. But the fact that the camera nods, that is hugely funny, because it's like, whenever you see that, it's always representing what the audience really wants mm -hmm. to see. But, of course, nobody wants to see him build a birdhouse, but the camera nodding is... That's very, very smart. I've, I've never seen a joke done that way with suggesting what the audience wants when clearly they don't in that manner. I thought that was really funny. I wanted to see him build the burnt house. Uh, well, there you go. You got the fast-forward version of that. And it's okay, because it comes full circle, kind of, as <laughs> there is nothing, technically, that connects all of these. At least they don't tell us what it is. Um, which kind of pisses me off, because I was looking throughout the whole thing, I'm like, you know, is it this? Is it that? Is it fire? Is the next one going to be water? Is it going to be, like, the, the elements or something? But it's like, nope, it's just, there's a birdhouse in the background, that's it. Um, again, that they've told us. Uh, but you have one with Finn and Jake wanting to do, uh, playing with Jake Jr., pretending they have a uh, time machine. Uh, Jake probably getting his most detailed <laughs> with the uh, with his shape shifting, um, which I thought was awesome. I, I love the fact that he creates a hydrant for his fake bike because yeah. it's like you don't need the hydrant. You and even when he goes up to the door behind him, it's still there. Yeah, so I it, I thought that was great. Um, uh, the, the Ice King putting on the movie for the penguins. It's like, that was it. the only thing that really made me laugh was the jar of yarg. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this doing in here? <laughs> um, the, uh, what was the other one? The Lemon Grabs are still funny. I'm still waiting for that episode where I don't like them, but it's like, they're still <laughs> funny. Um, and then Cinnamon Bun, uh, with the light and dark, you know, he's afraid of the dark, now he's afraid of the light, he goes on a rampage. And then, uh, the fox, which is great seeing the fox back. Yeah. Uh, I love the idea of his subconscious, him watching his subconscious self write a letter or do it. I, really fun, out there, surreal stuff. Um, so, okay, after this episode aired, or after we watched it, they just cut. They, they don't say what connects them, if there is anything. We were still going. We were trying to find stuff, and I'm still kind of convinced that uh, it has something to do with either numbers or time, and then Brie brought up really good when she said that it has something to do with age or growing up because everything, you know, Cinnamon Bun is acting like a kid. The Lemon Grabs have their little uh, child in there. They're dealing with Jake Jr., who I guess is 30. Um, the Fox had something where he's like looking at the old bugs or it's like his grandfather's place or something like that. And then uh, the Ice King is very much treating the, uh, the penguins like kids as this adult uh, oriented, as this kid oriented, blah, blah, blah. Um... So, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards that, but I have no idea if there actually is anything intended to connect them. Um, I, have you read up on this at all, or do you know oh, is there God, anything? No, <laughs> no I, I, if there is an intention, I don't know. 
I just thought it was funny. <laughs> but it is it is funny just at the end. There's the birdhouse. And yeah. it's like, that's it. And then it's sort of a double fake out because it's like, oh, you want to see what's going to happen in the episode? You can guess. Oh, you just want to see the episode. Okay. And they never reveal what it is. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just so curious if there actually was something. This, this might be the first episode I want to actually look up after seeing it. Because <laughs> I just want to see if there actually was anything. Because like I said, it feels like there's something with like either age or numbers. Uh, or Where time. Where did you get numbers from though? I'm curious. <sighs> because it seemed like, I'm trying to remember, like her being 30. Um, I think there was something about, you know, vote. At first I thought it was like maybe the numbers because it was like, I thought there was, there was a 3 in the first one. Then I thought there was like... A four in the next one, huh. uh, and and then there's like two lemon gra I thought maybe there's some sort of countdown, but I couldn't quite put it together. There's even a little license plate on the time machine. I thought maybe the numbers are not connected there, but I like I said, there's so much happening in the episode. I was just like, oh, maybe it's this. Maybe I'll wait till the end. That way I can put it together easier. And of course, nothing's revealed. Um, so, but like I, said, I I actually think the age thing, the growing up thing, is probably closer. Um, but I don't know, it could just be a huge coincidence, too, so, uh, what, what was your thoughts on it? I liked it, um, when I first saw it, yeah, I was, like, picking my brain, because the first one, you know, you can kind of figure out, the second one really throws you for a loop, because it's like, oh, the five fingers, what are you talking about? No, it's the senses, or, uh, the tastes. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so this time I was, like, actually paying, paying attention. Like, yeah, I yeah. I, to... I was missing half the jokes because <laughs> I was paying attention. And this is, of course, the one where they don't give it to you, which yeah. is kind of brilliant. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I almost think they shouldn't do any more just because they can, like, I'm sure there's another way they can play us and they can <laughs> trick us or something, but it's like, I, I don't know, that's like just the perfect kind of delivery of the first one actually had something, the second had something, but then there was something else. Yeah. And then this one, of course you're just going to be so focused because they already tricked you once, and then they don't even give you the answer. I mean, yeah. it's, like, it's really clever. Um, the only thing I really hated, and it started pretty much with this, maybe the last time, was Cinnamon Bun. And he was a little annoying. He's, he gradually gets more annoying for me to the point where I can't stand him. I mean, there's not much of him in it, but, and again, it's... Everything in this episode is kind of just, like, toned down a bit because, like I said, I'm trying to focus on what's connecting them all. Yeah. And it's like, maybe he was really annoying, but I was so trying to find what was connecting them that I didn't notice. Well, like, for the for the most part, Cinnamon Bun, cinnamon bun has always been kind of, like, dim-witted or so. Uh -huh. That's okay, I'm fine with that. But, like, this one just seemed just... Too bright! To, you know, and just like really just please quiet. Yeah. Shut up. I, 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 and I'm sorry, I'm on PB's side with this one. Time to grow the hell up. You know, <laughs> deal with it. And in the end, what happens? His bitching and moaning and whining, he still gets the goddamn uh, nightlight. nightlight. Which, by the way, if the marketing people, the toy people, haven't made one of those yet, make they, one of those. Yeah. That would, that just seems like a no brainer. <laughs> I mean, they look cool. I mean, and they're. They can't be that expensive to make, and it's already got an audience because, hey, it was in the episode, buy it. So, I don't know. Get on that if you haven't yet. Um. Yeah. I did like how he was there talking in the beginning, and the bird comes up and steals his cube. Yeah. And then like flies off with it. <laughs> and I, then it slowly floats back, and then he blows up, and then he's building the bird house. Well, I was going to say, there's something... The one thing that was a little different in this one is that, uh, with that character, the Emo Phillips character, is that I was actually for the first time tr starting to get into, where is this, and what is he? And, what, <laughs> and, like, even the way he sort of moves, like, he'll blow up and just sort of reanimate somewhere else, and yep. and even just everything's kind of floating, the wood's kind of floating, and there's birds there. It's like, it's the first time I'm like, you know, what is this guy, and where is this? I was actually really questioning it, because a lot of these things do sort of come back, or sometimes yeah. they're non-sequiturs, but it's like, I was actually really trying to question, because it's like, well, wait, they show there was a glob, and a grob, and all that other stuff, you know, what, what's this guy's story? I was actually really, really curious, um, and, yeah, so I said, maybe they'll never reveal it, I don't know, but I like, I just like they're creating an environment more and more every single time we see him, um, so, he reminds me a lot of the, what's that Marvel character, I think the Watcher is that Yeah, the Watcher. Called? Yeah, it reminds me a yeah. lot of that. Actually, I'm curious to actually go back and rewatch the Lich, when they open up the Inkai, well, when they look in the Inkai reading, if you will, and it shows all the different dimensions. Mm. 
I never paid one. attention. I'm curious if his dimension is kind of floating around somewhere or whatnot. If now I kind of want to go back and watch that. Yeah, I'm like really curious about this guy now. Something about the uh, what's it? The third one? Yeah. So same about the third time. I'm just like, you know, who is this guy? And <laughs> it, but it's the fact they added a little bit more too. They added the birds. They added things yeah. flying around, like how he teleports from one area to another. Uh, so yeah, now I'm really curious, and I'm I'm curious if they're gonna bring him back or talk more about it. If if they stop, it's like okay, fair enough. But it's like I I really want to know. Like I'm really really intrigued by him. So. Uh, yeah, if you want to bring him back or anything else, or if he does come back, that's uh, uh, very welcomed. So, um, yes, any other thoughts? We should have planned ahead of time and had, like, Jack or Bree or Jory, like, pop up from down here like Finn. Hey, sh what was he doing, by yeah. the way? Okay, so this is adorable. Jory is off screen. <laughs> He's saying to uh, Jack and Bree, do it. Oh, God, do it. Come on, do it. Do it. And they are just saying they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like typical kids My of their children age. children don't listen to me. <laughs> God. Like, on the iPad. <laughs> like, like, like proper children should. I mean, think about it though. The fact that I said we should have had that as a joke, and then if it happened, then no, that. Well, we, we kind of worked with it. No, it would have been bad. So. Good job, Jory. Trying to screw everything up. Oh my god, that's my goal in life. Oh. If there's anything... Ooh, I forgot, I'm sorry, I loved the lemon grab part. With the whole, with just everything about it, Here and then... You're sleeping on it! <laughs> but what happened at the end? Uh, he ate the other one, right? Yeah. So is there only one lemon grab now? We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> only one! <laughs> and I love how he's, like, he's yelling, This is the end! <laughs> I love that part. I almost forgot, but that's my favorite part of this episode. Lemon grab. Yeah. So if there's anything we've learned, um, your family sucks. Okay, yeah. Okay. I won't argue. You guys suck. They're, they're terrified to even talk. I can't be honest. Insult me back! Nah. Okay. <laughs>